what we're going to do next, if you choose, is we're going to grab our blocks and, and prepare our bodies to play with our crane or our crow pose. I'm placing my block behind me, slightly behind my foot. <sighs> and I'm going to just relax in the half forward fold for a couple of breaths. Slowing down to a complete forward fold, feeling that stretch behind my legs. Coming back to a half forward fold, bending my knees, and we're just gonna play around for a little bit in our crane pose. We wanna ensure that when we're in our crane or our crow, our hands should always be flat on the earth. Maybe our fingertips slightly apart when they're on the earth, because we wanna have that nice solid foundation there. Now, noticing the difference, because a lot of people you guys probably have seen gets confused with the crane and the crow pose because they look very similar. They are both downward poses. When we're in our crane, you may notice that the knees are more to the back of the arms. This is more of a crane pose. When we're in a crow pose, you may notice that the knees are more off to the sides of the elbows, kind of like a flap. So, that, so before we get started, we're going to start with a couple of crow preps. So we are we are slightly down, see that there? Ensuring that we feel good in our body. And we can just slightly lift one leg off the earth, placing it back down. This is a nice prep pose. Taking the other foot off the earth and placing it back down. Other foot off the earth and maybe slightly leaning a little bit forward, see that there? So we are basically, we are in our half pro right now. Noticing how this feels in our body as we relax our foot, doing the opposite, taking that opposite foot off the earth, maybe leaning slightly forward, feeling that pose even more, and relaxing back. So those are a nice couple of prep poses that we can do without even using the block. And if we wanna to try to see how our bodies feel up higher in the air, we can step on our block and play with our crane if that feels good for you. Building a strength in the arms. If you want to play with your crow, same position on a block, but our knees are to the side of our elbows, not on top of our elbows. Hands are flat on the earth. And now we are in our crow. See that there? On the blocks, but we are still in a position preparing our mind and our body for the pose. And if you want to do the, the prep, the, the um, tapping, we can always do the prep tapping. Noticing how that works the body even more. Now, before we go into the pose without the blocks, placing the block off to the side, maybe we can come into a wide-legged child's pose just for a second to relax the mind and body give our bodies time to relax and soothe. Maybe taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Our <sighs> bodies back at our table. Pushing our bodies back to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we come to a complete forward fold. Hovering over our legs, maybe coming into a rag doll. Exhale the half forward fold. And if our feet are together, maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart. Okay. Slightly bending at our knees, placing both of our palms flat on the earth. That feels comfortable for us. We got to make sure that we feel comfortable on the earth before we go into this pose. Now, when I first learned this pose, I would always have pillows in front of me because how many people 
practice crane pose and fall flat on their face. Yes, I'm happy I remembered that. So if you want to grab a pillow or something in front of you, please, please, please do so. Because in practicing crane, like practicing headstands, sometimes we fall over. And these big giant pillows <laughs> makes the fall fun without hurting our bodies. So grabbing and moving anything out of the way that can hurt you. So once again, we're using our forward fold. We came down, we, we were bending at our knees and we were placing both of our hands flat on the earth to see how we feel. And once again, we can always tap our feet if we don't wanna go into that full crane or pro. But if we choose to, may we use the next couple of breaths to play around in our crow or our crane. Noticing how this feels. <sighs> Coming out whenever you need to, or just doing the preps, the tapping, but always keeping the pillow in front of you and maybe giving it a try if, if you choose slightly leaning forward and lifting your feet off the floor together. Yes. And then coming back down. But, so we're gonna do it for a couple more breaths, either coming into that crow or that crane. And again, we can always just do the taps. When we do the taps, we are actually building strength in our arms to one day be able to get into that crow. Yeah, so whatever feels good for you, Whenever you're ready, we can come out of that pose. May you play around with your crane over the next couple of days, weeks, and months, and notice how long you can stay into the pose. Take a notice that every day when you practice, you'll be able to stay up in your crane or your crow for longer, more extended periods of time. Practice makes us stronger. Namaste, love and light.